the Main Street facility is for small and medium sized companies, companies that don't that aren't large enough uh, or in some way don't have the ability to have access to the capital market. So they don't issue public bonds or public equity, meaning that they're that the way they get their financing in their operations is really through the banking system and, and through non banks. Uh, so we we had we have a facility that deals with companies that have access to the bond market and there's uh, congress has done a lot for smaller companies that are under 500 employees with the um pay, paycheck protection program so um this is for the companies that are in the middle and it is very challenging because it's an extraordinarily diverse space the credit needs of of different kinds of companies in different industries are extraordinarily diverse some of them borrow against assets some against cash flow uh, some are much more volatile than others. So it's quite it's it's quite diverse and trying to figure out the right credit products for that market is is challenging. In addition, uh, the world of bank credit is a world in which every every um, credit agreement between a borrower and a, and a bank is negotiated. So so each credit agreement is a little bit different. So there, it doesn't have the degree of standardization, for example, that the bond market has, where there are forms of indentures and forms of prospectuses, and it's 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 much more, um, you know, it's much more routine than it is. So it's challenging to get in there, but nonetheless, get in there, we will. And we so we're, we're days away from uh, making our first loans in Main Street. We have, we have three facilities that are part of it. They're meant to reach out to different parts of that broad space. In the meantime, many of those companies are finding that they can borrow from banks. Others are, are waiting for us to get our facility up and running. I, it, it is far and away the, the biggest challenge of any of the 11 facilities that we've set up are the three Main Street facilities. But, um, you know, and I would, the last thing I'll say is, as we've shown, uh, we're very willing to learn from experience. We, we put out a term sheet, proposed term sheet. We get, we got a couple thousand letters from people on the first Main Street term sheet. We turned that around. We've consulted actively with all different kinds of companies and uh, experts. And, and we, you know, we've now released the documents and do expect to start making loans on Main Street uh, in, in a few days. In a few days. Well, congratulations. You envisioning these loans to be a million, half a million? I mean, I mean, that was me speaking. You speak. What size loans are we talking about? So the, the current structure is that the smallest loans would be about a half a million, and the largest ones could be, you know, over a hundred. And, and that's for the for the larger companies. There, we're 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 working with companies that have as many as 15,000 employees uh, and 5 billion in revenue. And there's no, there's no limit on the, on the bottom end. So, uh, you know, I can imagine us expanding on either end too. I mean, the, the whole nature of this exercise that, that Congress has given us is go find companies that have employees. Really, it's all about creating uh, a context in which employees, a climate in which employees will have the best chance to either keep their job or go back to their old job, or ultimately find a new job. That is the point of this exercise. Is is to it's all about those 25 million people or so who've been laid off, the ones who may not be laid off, but may may have ultimately be laid off. So that's what this is about. And so we're looking for companies in any 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 part of the economy that have employees that are not able to get credit that would have been able to get credit in 2019. So we're looking back at companies that were in good, solid financial shape before the pandemic. We're trying to find those companies and we're trying to create credit products that work for them. That's the nature of the exercise. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.